Hey guys, so today I want to share with you how you can download your Udemy certificate once you complete your course. First off, you need to make sure that you have actually completed the course. Like for example, in this case that I'm showing you right now on screen, I haven't actually even started this course, but I just wanted to walk you through the process and show you how it actually looks like even before you start and even before you actually complete the course. So right now I'm here in this course that is called a mini course on time management and I haven't completed any of the lectures. That's why it's stating here zero out of 12 items completed, okay? And this is basically the course dashboard. So when you go to any of your courses on Udemy, this is what you're gonna see. And you have different tabs here in this like middle section, the overview of the course, the course content, which is basically the curriculum of the course, Q and A's, bookmarks, announcements, and so forth, right? But I mainly want you to focus on the course content because this shows you the curriculum of the course and the different lectures that are part of the course, the different sections that are part of the course and what you have actually completed. You can see what you've actually completed because you will, when you've actually completed the lecture, you will have a tick here on the right hand side of each lecture. So right now, because I haven't completed anything, this is showing zero, right? But if I had actually completed, right? Like if I actually had gone through the lecture and had actually completed this whole lecture, like I'm gonna fast forward here. Um, and if I had actually completed this lecture, let's leave it there almost at the end so you can see the example. So it's about to finish, right? It's completing. And then I'm gonna go back to the course dashboard, go to course dashboard, and you can see now that I actually completed this lecture, right? And I simulated that really quickly just to show you this example, but obviously as you're going through the course, this is gonna automatically tick for you the different lectures that you've covered in the course, right? And now you can see that I've completed one of the 12 lectures in the course. So it's showing me the progress. And also this little trophy here will actually allow you to download your certificate once you have actually completed the course. So you need to get to the 100% before you can actually download your certificate, okay? That's something that is important for you to keep in mind. And I know this sounds a bit obvious, but a lot of times what I see is that students, you know, let's say in this example that they have 12 lectures, they might go through 11 and then they accidentally forget to do one, or they might accidentally skip one of the lectures and then they can't download their certificate and they're trying to figure out and understand why they can't download it. Well, it's very simple. You're not going to be able to download your course certificate until you've actually completed the course. So you need to make sure that this number here on the left is exactly the same as the number here on the right. So this needs to be 12 out of 12, which means 100% of completion of the different lectures that are part of the course. One cool thing though that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually manually mark your lectures complete or incomplete if you wanted to do so. And it's super easy to do. You know, you're here on the course dashboard of the course that you're taking. You go to the tab that is called course content, which is showing you the curriculum. And then here on the right, you can see the different lectures that you gotta go through. And if you didn't want it to go through the lectures and you just wanted to download the certificate, you could do that. Of course, I wouldn't recommend and wouldn't encourage you to do that because the whole purpose of you going through the course is actually acquiring knowledge and learning new things. And then of course, downloading your certificate, which is kind of part of the process, of course, but it's kind of the last part of the process. But anyway, if by any chance you did want to download your certificate, and I'm just gonna take this complete just to show you the example real quickly, then you can manually go here and start marking your lectures. So you can see I've marked now three, so that it's showing me that in section one, I've completed three out of three lectures that were part of section one. And at the top is showing me the overall summary of the course, which is saying I've completed three out of the 12 lectures that are part of this course. Of course, because I haven't reached 100%, so 12 lectures in this case, I haven't, and I'm not able to download my certificate yet. But like I said before, well, as you go through the entire course, all of this is gonna start automatically getting ticked. And then when you go to the course dashboard and here to the course content tab, you'll be able to download your certificate right here on Udemy. And you can download it as a PDF, or you can send you know, a link which you can share in social media or in your LinkedIn profile, or you just can share it who, with whomever you wanna share it with. But I'm gonna continue with this example, just manually marking everything complete, just to show you what it actually looks like after you've completed everything, right? So I'm marking here everything manually complete, which is kind of simulated that I've actually gone through the entire course. 
Um, so I now have just two lectures outstanding. As you can see, this is not activated yet because I haven't actually completed the course, but then I'm missing these two last lectures here. Like I said, it's super easy for you to identify if you haven't completed a lecture because you're gonna see, for example, right now, if I went to the top, I can see, oh, I've completed 11 out of 12, so I'm missing one of them. So you can easily see which one I'm missing because here it says three out of three, so I've completed all of them. Seven out of seven, I completed all of them. This one is telling me I've completed one out of two. So I just click on it and then I can see which one is the one that I'm missing, which then I can actually go through if I click here on the play icon through that lecture and then you know it will automatically mark itself complete or you could manually mark it complete if you wanted to. And then once you do that, then that's gonna say, okay, you know, I've completed 100% of the course and then now you can download your certificate. Now, when you're going through the course, you know, and I, and I was saying that as, as you're going naturally through the course, it will automatically mark itself complete. And then when you reach 100%, this will turn white and then you'll reach 100% completion. Because I manually marked this complete and it was just simulating an example for you, then this hasn't turned white yet, so I can't actually click on it, but I'm just gonna refresh this here on the browser. I'm just gonna refresh the browser, and then that should refresh also the you know certificate of completion for you. Okay, so as you saw in this example, now that I refreshed the browser, it's now showing the trophy in white, which means here, click to access your certificate. So I'm gonna click there, and then it's gonna take me to the certificate of completion for this course which I can then download or I can share in social media, Facebook, Twitter, or your LinkedIn profile. And again, if you wanted to share the link to your course certificate, you can just copy it from the browser and you know share it with whoever you wanna share it with. And your name here, you know, this is the name that is appearing here, is the name that is the name that you put in your account. If you wanted to change the name, you could. You just need to go here to your Udemy profile and change the name if you wanted to do that. So sometimes I see that some people make mistakes in their in their name and they think, oh, I can't, they start to panic because they think they can't change the name. Don't worry, it's not a problem. You can easily change the name if you wanted to change the name. But basically what I wanted to show you in this video is how to download your certificate, which we just saw a second ago. Like I said, whenever you're in any of the course, you know, in, in, inside a course, you just go to the course dashboard you could then go to the tab here, course content. Then you once you've completed the course, once you've reached 100% of completion, so these two numbers here need to match up. Once you've completed that, then this will turn white, which is a trophy, and then you'll just click on it, and then you'll be able to download your certificate as a PDF or share it like we saw a moment ago. So I'm gonna go back. And like I said, you know, if you have that issue where, which we were seeing before, which this, I completed everything, but this wasn't, uh, white because you know I was actually manually marking it complete so I just you know refreshed the page and then that showed you know the trophy ready for you to download which is the trophy is basically the, the course certificate it's just an icon representing the course certificate but like I mentioned before you probably wouldn't encounter that if you were just going naturally through the course because this is going to start naturally you know ticking itself automatically for you and then as that process is happening and your browsing is refreshing then you'll see that this is automatically marked white for you and you'll be able to download your course certificate. But in any case, if for some reason it's not coming up like we saw a moment ago in the video, then just refresh your page. Just make sure you've actually completed 100% of the course because if you haven't, and like I said, sometimes I see people that accidentally skip lectures for whatever reason, and then they get to the course certificate and they, they can't seem to download and then they're, they're trying to understand why they can't download. And it's very, very simple. Generally, it's because they're missing a lecture, right? Like in, I'm manually marking this. So they're generally, they're missing a lecture and then they, they won't be able to download their certificate. But once they've actually reached 100% of completion, they'll be able to download that certificate. All right, guys, I hope that clarifies for you the question about how you can download your course certificate. But if anything else comes up, don't hesitate to contact me. All right, cheers, bye.